This tutorial will show you how to perform a complete bus covering by using Tiling Plus. It covers the following key points. Import a background template, add overlaps and gaps, create, merge, and deactivate tiles. Export an assembly guide, save a template. Step 1. Configure a poster. From the application bar, open a new Tiling Plus window. In the Poster Size tab, we specify a size of 11,000 mm by 2,500 mm, which are the real dimensions of the bus to wrap. Here we have opened two files in the Images bar. One PDF file contains the print file to tile, and the other is a template to follow. Drag and drop the print file in the Tiling Plus workspace. The PDF was saved with a 110 scale, that's why it's very small. To adapt the size of the file to the poster, go in the Image tab and click on the button. Now the image fits perfectly in your workspace. Step 2. Import a background template. We are now going to import the bus template to adjust the position of the tiles with the frame and the lines of the vehicle. To do so, drag and drop your template file on Tiling Plus workspace while pressing the control key. By doing so, the template will automatically be positioned in the background. For a better visualization, you can adjust the level of opacity for the foreground image to show the background template. Step 3. Create tiles using a print constraint. Defining a print constraint allows you to generate files for which the width can't be superior to the one of the media loaded on the printer. Enable the Print Constraints option. Select the printer and the roll size you want, then click on Recompute Tiles to generate the new tile, which are now following the specified print constraints. From now, you can easily shape the tiles by manually adjusting the lines on the bus template. Simply click on a vertical line to move it. Adjust to the windows, doors, etc. The process is the same as above to create horizontal tiles. Place your cursor on the upper or lower side of a given tile and move it to adjust the required shape. Do not hesitate to zoom in, zoom out by pressing the control key and the right or left mouse button. Step 4. Merge and deactivate tiles. To save time, some files can be printed together as one single entity. We're going to see now how to select multiple tiles and merge them into one. Select the tiles to merge by pressing the shift key while clicking on the tiles to add. Then, right click on one of those tiles and select merge tiles. You can go in the tile size section tab as well and click on the dedicated button. Repeat as often as necessary. Step 5. Add overlaps. Now in order to facilitate the covering and to respect various technical constraints, we're going to add an overlap between each tile, from the left to the right. To do so, select all the tiles you want and go to the overlap section. First select the side you want to overlap. Here we select the right side only. Then put your overlaps values. Overlaps are now indicated in red in the pre-visualization. Step 6. Add Gap We are now going to create a space where printing is not needed, for example on the rubber parts in the middle of the doors. Such as the previous step, select the tile where gap is needed. First we add a 60mm gap from the right to the left. and then a 60mm gap from the left to the right to have a 120mm gap, which is the rubber part thickness. Gap areas are now indicated in yellow in the pre-visualization. 
Step 7. Export the tiles. Positions, overlaps, and gaps are now set so tiles are ready to be exported for printing process. This project is requiring two different printing substrates, one for the body and one for the glass surface. We will see how to export two different files from the same Tiling Plus document. But first, let's see how to add labels to the tiles in order to make them easily recognizable by the people in charge of the covering. To activate the function, click on the L1C1 button in the MISC section. You will see labels appearing on each tile. Those labels are preferably placed in the overlaps before they will not be visible after the covering process. Now, let's export the body parts. Select all the body tiles by pressing the Shift key. Click on Create Poster at the bottom of the window and choose Create All Selected Tiles. It will export only the selected tiles to the images bar. You can display all the tiles contained in this document by clicking on the plus icon. To ease the process, we advise you to rename the document accordingly by right-clicking on the New Tiling Plus document. Select Applications, then Info, and modify the name. To export the remaining glasses parts, simply deactivate the one you selected previously by clicking on the dedicated button in the Tile Size section. You can now see red crosses to identify all disabled tiles. Again, click on Create Poster, but this time choose Create All Tiles. It will export only the activated tiles to the images bar. You can rename the document as well, like we did previously. Step 8. Export an assembly guide. Tiling Plus offers you the possibility to export an assembly guide in PDF format. It can be printed and given to the operators to guide them during the vehicle cover. To export an assembly guide, simply click on the assembly guide button at the bottom of the window. This document details each generated tile and summarizes all the modifications performed on the file, overlaps, gap, etc. Step 9. Save a template. Saving a template allows you to use it again later for another job based on the same type of vehicle. Click on Save at the bottom of the window, then select the folder where to keep it, and give a name to the newly created document. All the template's characteristics, size, overlaps, number of tiles and spacing, will automatically apply to the new job. You will only need to import the template in a new Tiling Plus window. And drag and drop the new file to print. The last step will be to create the poster. This concludes this Tiling Plus tutorial. Thanks for watching.